Good evening, my name is Richard and today we'll be looking at the different uh, uh, parts of the money.com software and if you're new, how you understand that money.com is, is a project management tool that allows you to, to manage projects in the form of boards, in workspaces and then assign tasks into it and then these tasks you are assigning into you want to give out your work to your team members or your staff depending on where you work and what you're trying to achieve but then before we go into that let us understand a little bit about um monday.com and we are going to work with whatever we have here on our on our dashboard so when you are at monday.com you're going to have your home you're going to have your, your work and then you're going to see your work your workspace this is your workspace this is where you can you know name probably your company and everything and then below this point whatever you see under it is regarded as what as projects whatever you see here is a what is a project so this is your project and if you want to assess any project you just do that by what by clicking on it but what about in cases where you do not have a project here? Maybe you come to this place now for the first time and everything here is blank. How do you begin? Now, assuming this place is all blank, there is nothing uh, standing here, there is no real estate or restaurant or whatever. How do you start working on Monday.com? Well, that's where you come. You have this big plus here. This big plus allows you to, uh, to create or uh, to select a template to, uh, to work on. Now, it's categorized into, uh, into work management. If you want to talk about new projects, new portfolio, start with templates and all that. Then it also has what uh, boards. This way you can create a new board. Okay, that's where you can create a new board. And then you have doc, if you want to create a new document, it has a dashboard, it has form in case you want to build a form and then it has folder. You also come here to see the apps and then you can import data. This is the template center and this is one of the most important uh, uh, feature that makes money.com stand out among uh, similar softwares. And this is where I like most. I like it most because it helps you tailor your work environment to what you really want to do. So let me click on it so that we, you know, we can see how the thing, how this template center, you know, you know, is going to show us around. So when you click on template center, you are allowed to select a unique template, and this is tailored down based on what you do. This simply means that if you are into marketing, there's a template for you. You can see here we have email marketing, we have product marketing launch, we have communications and PR, we have Monday Marketer, we have whiteboard, we have international uh, processes by today, we have marketing strategy, we have client campaigns for agencies. Then if you're a content producer or a content creator, you also have a what a template for you. So here you can see the different type of templates that exist that you can simply adopt and what configure to your what your taste. If you are a project manager, there is one for you as well. You can see very very nice project. But then how do you really really choose a template that you know that suits what you want to do? Let's assume you are into construction. And then you are clicking on this place. How do you select this template? Now, to select this template, what you do is you click on the the particular template you want to work with, or the kind of industry you work on, which is construction. And then you come here. I like this general contractor solution because it's really really tailored down to what I I enjoy doing most, which is construction. So you can come here. You click general contractor solutions. So long as you've clicked on that one, you're going to see two different environments, but make sure you stick to the first one and then you click on use templates. Now, allow some minutes or seconds to pass so that you can prepare your work environments. And voila, we are here. So now this is the part where you want you customize 
your work environment or your project according to what you're doing. Let's say you are baking a cake for Richard N. Or let's just say you are baking a cake for uh, for maybe a client called uh, Cynthia. So we say Cynthia's cake. Cynthia's cake. So this is a project for what? Cynthia cake. Okay. Since we are working with a construction uh, uh, template, let us say, okay, Cynthia's house. Yes, Cynthia's house is more realistic. So let's use, let's stick with that. So this now shows our that this is a project that you're doing for what? For Cynthia's what? Building. And to achieve this job or to achieve this project or this construction, there are some other things that must work, that must follow it. And these are what you are going to put on these different sections. Now, because it is a building, you can you, you can divide the entire project into what into stages or what we call phases or even groups. So I can say okay, um, uh, site clearance. Site clearance is the first stage because you have to make this. You have to make sure the site is tidy. Then we can say the second stage is what say uh, excavation. Yeah, because you want to dig your foundation now. And then the third phase you can say um, uh, say okay roofing for instance. After roofing, we can say uh, we can say okay we are done with roofing. We we'll talk about tiling. We we'll talk about tiling, and then lastly, we are going to write what's done. This is a very very important part of the project, and I like to make my done to be what to be totally green. So remove whatever you had here before, and then you are you are good to go. So you delete this, just take it out so that it will be blank. Now. We are done um, sharing our project or our construction process into what into different phases, and this is where I want you to uh, know up to for this video. In the next video, I'm going to come and show you how to navigate all through these places, and then it will become more meaningful to you. And I encourage you to watch this video. And stick to this channel as you are going to what to bring in more videos for you as time progresses we're going to teach you how to navigate this entire place we are even going to teach you how to automate but that will be in a what in a in an upcoming video so thank you for watching please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we release the next video thank you very much bye